Hello and welcome to Carry Camera Club's um, first photo editing, uh, I suppose, tip or I don't know what you'd call it, demonstration. Um, I, my name is Francis Quigley and as agreed at our last meeting I've agreed to edit some of uh, the members' photos that they submit, uh, another raw files, I've asked them to take raw images and I'm going to try and edit those photos and improve them in a way that I would if they were my photos and the hope is that people can maybe learn and pick up a few ideas and tips on how to post process uh, their images. The, the first image here which is a photograph um, it was taken by Martin Tobin and it's an image of the Cumber Mountains taken from taken from their own uh, yard or home place I think Martin was saying that he went up in the telescopic loader uh, to get a bit of height up and just so he could see more of the mountain and it certainly it, uh, it has achieved that but the image is just a little bit flat looking and, and hopefully we can improve, improve that um, so the first thing I would do is I go over and I would I'd always just check my exposure the exposure uh, line here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key and then I'm going to click on this and as you can see the sky is, is, is slightly burnt out um, but I'm going to leave it as it is uh, for the time being but uh, if, if, if it wasn't that might boost that exposure slightly the next thing I'm going to check is I'm going to check the blacks and I'm going to just have a look and see where the blacks are and I'm going to boost the blacks until they slightly start coming in through interview and you can see that um, if I go back and click on it you can see the lines starting to appear there so I'm just going to bring it back until just where they first start to appear the blacks are starting to burn in so now we know we have definite blacks in this area and as we know we have different whites in the sky unfortunately. Uh, recovery, we may be able to recover some of that detail because this is a raw file and you can see Here's the original image with all the areas. The white areas are the areas of the sky that are, are, are completely blown out, so there's no detail there anymore. But the beauty of a raw file is you can get some of that detail back. So if we pull this slider across, we can recover some of that detail. I know it's not hugely visible yet if I, if I pull the slider back. You, can, you may not be able to see on the recording, but there is a slight bit of detail coming back. But we'll, we'll, we'll work on that again in, in a couple of minutes. The, the next thing, um, brightness, contrast, might boost the contrast slightly if we can. Uh, just pull it up a little bit. Clarity, I'm going to push the clarity up and that'll pull back to see the detail on the mountains and the sky starting to come. Just kind of cuts through that haze to a certain degree. Uh, vibrance, I'm going to push up the vibrance as well, just slightly. Again, that's given us a bit more detail in the area here in the sky. But now the whole image, I think, is a little bit oversaturated. So, for my liking, so I'm going to pull back the saturation slightly, so it looks a little bit more natural. Uh, somewhere there around 12 or 15. It doesn't matter. You can play around with these things. You know, just keep pushing the sliders over and back until you find something that you like. I'm going to leave it there in around 17, maybe a little bit higher, 13. Um, the next thing now I'm going to work on is I'm going to have a go at working on this sky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to grab the graduated filter, click on that, and I'm just going to pull the graduated filter down here over the area of the sky, the mountain and the sky there. Now we're going to decrease that exposure slightly so we can get a bit more oomph and impact into that sky. Brightness. Uh, we won't darken it too much. It wasn't that bad today. Um, maybe just a little contrast. Maybe boost contrast just a little bit. Ever so slightly. Saturation. I'm going to desaturate it slightly because sometimes you can get, get a hue uh, coming through so this will take that out of it. Um, clarity. Yeah, we'll leave it as it is because sharpness. Now you could sharpen that sky if you want to, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to 
soften the sky and just take it, give it, it gives a little bit of blur and soft edges so it looks like there's a little bit of movement in those clouds um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop the image the, the horizon is smack bang in the center and um, I think it would work better if we crop this into a long narrow image the 2 to 1 ratio and get that horizon out of the center now you could push it up here and you'd have a nice image if if the maybe maybe if there was a bit more going on in one of these fields if there was some machinery working in them or um that might work that image might work very well or if maybe if there was some cattle or or, or or something in the field in the field here closer i know there's some cattle in this field but as it is i don't think there's a huge, huge amount going on Sorry about that. As it is, I don't think there's a huge amount going on in this area, and I don't think it adds a lot to the image. So I'm actually going to pull the horizon line down the way and crop it down here slightly. So we end up with an image something like this. Um, so if we go back to where we started, we started, this is the image we started with and in a few reasonably simple steps it's so simple to me now at this stage it may not seem quite so simple to people looking at this for the first time but, but, but the more you use the program the quicker uh, the quicker you get to use and uh, used to it and the quicker you'll make and edit these photos like i would have edited this in a minute at the most and um you have your your certainly improved image um, and it's just from 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 the more use and, and time you spend with it that uh, the quicker you'll get obviously um, so I hope you, this has been a help and I hope you think it's an improvement on the uh, shot taken by Martin and um, send your raw images into me and we'll uh, try and work on yours and hopefully we can um, all benefit and learn from each other thanks again uh